My name is Adam Martell. I'm part of the startup team here at Greenleaf Convenience. Uh, Greenleaf Convenience is a, the healthy convenience store option for anybody that wants healthy food in a convenience store. Uh, the problem is this. When you go to convenience stores, you don't know where the food comes from. You don't understand why it's there. You, don't, you look at the people that are serving you and you think that you're taking advantage of them. The food that, that they sell, the food that most convenience stores sell, are laced with chemicals. They're preservatives. They're there because they have to make sure that the shelf life keeps them going long enough to be able to sell through. What we've done over the last nine, 10 months is we've created solutions to all the problems that convenience stores have, or all the problems we've identified convenience stores have. So we're excited to talk about a few of those. And as we're going through our analytics, and as we're analyzing convenience stores and what they mean to traditional customers, uh, we found four overarching problems. First is the food. Uh, convenience stores don't serve food with healthy and discernible ingredients. You don't know what's in the food. Uh, secondly, the store layout, it's old, it's antiquated, it's dirty. Thirdly, in a market that sells $200 billion worth of goods in a year, $200 billion worth of goods in a year, their employees are making minimum wage. And fourthly, it's one of the most offensive and really wasteful industries there are. So what we're trying to do is this. We're opening up a convenience store that sells healthy and discernible, or food that has healthy and discernible ingredients. Ingredients that you understand. We're reinventing the store design, making sure that it's innovative, it's fresh, it's unique. We're integrating technology to make sure our customers can actually get a convenient experience out of a convenience store. We're committed to paying our employees a livable wage and we're dedicated to doing as little harm to the environment as possible. Uh, so tonight we want to make two announcements about the things that we're innovating with uh, and how we're innovating. The first announcement is a partnership with Purple Carrot. And for the folks who don't know about the Purple Carrot, uh, Andy Levitt is right here. He's the founder of the Purple Carrot. The Purple Carrot is a meal kit, a vegetarian-based meal kit that is wonderful. One of the problems with convenience stores, or one of the problems that all convenience stores have, all 151,000 of them, is that they don't know how to serve dinner. When you look in a convenience store and you're looking for a dinner option, you have hot dogs, you have taquitos, or you have frozen dinners. None of those fly with my wife. So we partnered with an innovative Boston-based company to make sure that our customers have a fresh, innovative, unique dinner option. And what this does is it allows our convenience store to narrow the scope that we need to sell and to limit the amount of square footage that we're dedicating to dinners while offering variable dinners and great options. All their food's fresh, it's high quality, and Andy Levitt and his team are some of the best people in the city with food innovation. So we're really excited about a partnership with them. Uh, we think it's gonna revolutionize the convenience store industry. There's nobody else doing it right now. Uh, to celebrate our partnership, Andy and his team have offered to give everybody here and everybody that receives a tweet or anything uh, $20 off their first box. I uh, right now Purple Care is being delivered to homes, being delivered to homes in the Northeast. Uh, so you can go on to purplecare.com, type in that code, get $20 off the first meal kit. It's, uh, it's pretty wonderful. So make sure you take advantage of that. The, uh, the second innovation that we want to talk about is same hour delivery. And we're really excited about this. When our store opens, and we're looking probably the end of spring, we're going to be the first store that has same hour delivery. You're going to be able to order food through our app, we'll deliver it. So you can take it home. You don't have to waste time stopping by our store if you don't want to. You can see our inventory, which we built, up, built out in a proprietary system. And we're looking forward to offering the same hour delivery, which again is another way that we're trying to make convenience stores more convenient to their customers. So we're excited about that. Uh, what's next for us? We're, we've identified four different store locations. Uh, one in the Seaport District, one in the Levin District, one in Cleveland Circle, and one right here in Kendall. And uh, when you're leaving tonight, make sure that when you're driving home, you're thinking about, if you're hungry, if you're thirsty, where can you stop and get a convenient item at a store that you know treats their employees well, that is environmentally conscious, and that has great store design, and a store that you feel comfortable shopping at. And, uh, that's the store that we want to build, and we want to make sure we build a sustainable store for our families to eat at, and for our kids to eat at, and for our community to eat at. So 
We're very grateful for the support that we received in the lobby and the startup community here. Uh, we welcome any questions. Thank you so much. What percent of your revenue do you anticipate will be people stopping in and delivering? So have you actually uh, planned all that out and speculated what percent you anticipate will be stopping by and the other percent will be delivering? So, uh, so the question is, what percent of our revenue will come from people stopping by and what percent of our revenue will come from uh, same day, same hour delivery? Uh, while we don't know the answer to that, we know that it's going to be based on where the store is. So, a store here is going to be a little bit different than the store in Boston, um, in the leather district. We're really excited about the leather district because there's so many financial district people that we can sell to and that want to buy healthy food. Uh, so it's going to depend where it is, but we're anticipating around 10-15%. Yes. Um, what do your price points adjust for the different types of food products? So the question is, what are our price points in general relative to traditional convenience stores? Uh, so the way we're looking at ourselves is that we are the counterpart to Whole Foods. And we're really excited that Whole Foods is opening up everywhere because they're educating our customers. Um, convenience stores, the big box convenience stores, if their prices are what they are and they're a premium over traditional markets, uh, we're looking about 10-15% more than a Whole Foods product. Um, so the customers of Whole Foods will be our customers uh, and there will be a 10-15% markup on that. But at convenience store items, the markup isn't so much, the research that we've done, people have been really excited to pay an extra 10, 15 cents not to have to travel a mile to go to Whole Foods when they want a granola bar and a, a yogurt. Thank you so much for your support, we appreciate it.